videos, you're wondering how do I ride with the pros. Alright, so my top tips are if you're, this is all going to be about based by Adelaide. Um, so I'd say go to Adelaide, that's probably one of the best places to see them. The other place is obviously Calpe during December or like now, basically January, February. Uh, or maybe Vuelta Swan, San Juan, I know they sometimes go there. Basically any race where the teams are going to be there beforehand um, and actually train, and that's probably a good time to go. Uh, I haven't been to any of these, I've only ever been to um, Adelaide, and Cycle of Pros in Adelaide. So I'll give you my tips on that. Uh, right, so number one, get to Adelaide probably a week a week to two weeks before. Um, so they'll definitely be there a week before. Um, they normally come on the Saturday or Sunday the week before. Um, and then... But sometimes they come earlier, some of them will come in the year before. So some of them this year came in 2017. Uh, right, so they all stay in the Hilton. Um, so the best time to find them is they leave generally between 9 and 10. Uh, so I normally get there at 8.30 to 8.50 outside the Hilton. And then basically decide what team I want to go with. So at the beginning they normally do beach rides, um, just up and down the just up and down the beach, basically super easy. Then they start to do a bit of hill rides, then with like low intensity, but just some hill rides, and then they'll get in some intervals near the end, in the middle of the week, and then by the end they, again, do some beach rides but, uh, to recover before the tour down under. Uh, what fitness do you need? So if, you, if they're doing a beach ride, as long as you can do about 200 watts, um, your threshold probably is about 200 watts, and then you can just sit on the back. Um, I'd say the main thing riding with the pros is just like group confidence, not crashing, etc., etc. like... That's the main thing. And just if you're not comfortable riding group, then ride a little bit further back. Um, you'll see I, I don't go super close to them most of the time just because if they do something unexpected and you plow into them, that's super embarrassing and not very good. So it's better if you just use a little bit more energy because you're a bit further back, but then not actually like crash into them. Um, if they're going to do a hill ride, I'd say probably say like forwards per kilo threshold, maybe. It, it just depends how hard they're going to go. Most of the time... On the flats, it's about 200 to 250 in the wheels. So that's, it depends. If you're a light rider, that might be a lot. If you're a heavy rider, maybe not so much. On the hills, then most of them are around 70 kilos and they ride at 300 watts. So that's about, for me, it's normally about 260 watts, 270 watts. So on the hills, for me, that aren't that much harder. On some of the she short, steep hills, uh, they might push it up to 350, for instance, but nothing normally too hard. Um, so that would be, and then if, you, if they're doing intervals, it just depends again. Maybe you might need a 6 watt per kilo threshold, or if it's on the flat, you might just need to have a threshold over 300 watts. I'm not 100% sure on that. Obviously, you know, Team Sky got dropped, um, and I had a 300 watt threshold. Maybe it was a little bit less, probably more like 290 at that point, because um, I haven't done too much training recently. Um, and I got dropped. So, obviously, it just depends on the riders. And if they were going up, up a hill, I probably would have got dropped earlier, because a lot of them are stronger than me. Well, almost all of them are stronger than me up a climb if they're going full gas, but often they don't go full gas. That's that's the main thing I say about the riding with the pros. If they're going full gas, you're going to get dropped, basically. Um, but normally, at least one or two won't go full gas, so you just ride with them, and then it's fine. If you want to have a chase, then chase them, yeah. Um, but obviously, just be respectful. But mainly, I just say, yeah, you normally can keep up with them just because one of them will go slow. But if they're all going full gas, then yeah, sorry. You get dropped. Um, other things to think about riding with the pros. Yeah, stay in Adelaide. Doesn't really matter where, like, because you're going to be meeting. If you're going to ride with the pros, you're going to meet um, in the centre of the city. So I live in the eastern suburbs, so it's a bit of a commute to go there. And then I commute back to my house. But it doesn't really matter that much. Um, what are my other tips to ride with the pros? Um... If they ask for directions, give directions. Otherwise, just don't really say much. Um, but yeah, enjoy the ride. It's pretty chilled out once you're on them. Um, so if you're if you're looking to go to Adelaide next year, I definitely say go there. I I arrived on the first, and the race started on the fourteenth or sixteenth. Um, so I had plenty of time to like get ready, well get accustomed accustomed to the heat, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, before I rode with the pros. Um, and it was great fun riding with all the guys. It's just amazing being able to train with like the best riders in the world. So yeah, if you're if you're thinking of like having a gap year or you're working, you're thinking of having some time off, um, I'd recommend going week before. Uh, if you can do two weeks, then yeah, do two weeks. But otherwise, I'd say week before, maybe arrive on the Wednesday um, before the tour and leave on the Wednesday afterwards if you only have a week because that way you get a ride with the pros before and you and before it gets really busy in Adelaide and then also you get experience on the racing. Um, so that would be my top tips. Um, 
if you have any more questions about riding with the pros or if you want me to just do any I don't think I have much footage left but I might still have a bit I can commentate over that if you want that just let me know in the comments below uh, but cheers for watching um, definitely go to Adelaide next year 20, 2019 it will be um, I'm sure there will be loads of people there I probably won't be there but um, cheers for watching and I'll see you in the next vid